There's a really fun blue sow here on the screen right now. This is lot nine, uh, 34-7. She's a Goosebumps Dirty Secret uh, bred to Trick Daddy and due June 7th. Uh, you know, the master plan uh, starting after the sale last year, you know, after the, after the sale's over, we automatically, at least I do, start thinking about next year. And uh, the master plan was to have this sow and her litter mate belted sister side by side in the catalog uh, to showcase what they had done and, and put them in position to, uh, to go to work for somebody else. And unfortunately, we lost her sister in the crate um, this winter, nursing a very, very good litter of Dash 8s. Uh, her sister was bred to Dash 8 uh, because this sow, uh, I would argue, made Dash 8 famous last summer. Uh, the 51s last summer were out of this sow. They were very feedable. Uh, we had a couple of them in Iowa. We had a couple of them in Ohio. Uh, we had a couple of them in Missouri. One of those, he was the, uh, the champion cross bear there in the open show at Missouri State Fair. Uh, that was a really neat pig that the Collard family fed. Um, you know, this sow is backed by 240-10, and I talked about her earlier already. Uh, I still think that this sow's mother was the heaviest structured blue sow uh, that we've ever had, and uh, she certainly passed on that feature uh, foot size and bone size to this daughter. Um, you know, I say all that about the, the sows and everything behind her, and then we've got her bred to Trick Daddy, and uh, that gets me really, really excited. Trick Daddy's a, a tricked out at, at Crossroads that Cantrell bred. He's actually out of a never-before female that uh, Cantrell bought in the built the brand sale uh, to come full circle back here. And uh, I know boots like this one this afternoon. This is a sow that uh, I truly adore, and uh, I'm very proud to have her here uh, in the nine spot in the sale. Yeah, last-minute negotiations failed here tonight, so I guess I'll uh, give you my two cents here. Um, we actually would have fed a, uh, a brother to this out in Missouri um, that Molly Malter would have showed that was belted, that I was very, very fond of. I thought was very good and up to that point was is probably as proud of a bearer that, that we've probably had in Missouri in, in quite a while. And like many of the other hundreds of thousands of bearers that should have won a show, um, he didn't. Um, but nonetheless, we were still very proud of him. But it's been a lot of fun going forward with this sow because every time that ear knock just pops up on the bottom side of a pedigree, um, I've kind of dug into it with more intrigue um, because those things fed so well. Um, Jesse mentioned the 51s from last summer, um, and that was the fun part about this sow <clears throat> and why I think I've got so much confidence here. It didn't matter in that litter last year whether they were the worst one early or the best one early. Um, the best one um, at 50 pounds was reserve grain in the open show at Missouri. And the worst one um, was probably the most impressive one in August. Um, so it was really fun to see a litter of pigs um, in deep quality um, of males where they all fed and they all responded. Um, and they all did, you know, the sow took care of her job as far as making feedable pigs. Um, that gave us a chance to get them to the end. And then we go ahead and breed her um, to trick daddy here. And man, if we just add the extra shot of look and extension up front, uh, this sap will take care of the rest in terms of rib and punch and bulk. I think this is going to be lethal. Um, next level good. I can tell you, um, we got to see Trick Daddy's mates, or at least I did several times throughout the winter. Um, in incredible litter, heavy structured, opened up, powerful. Um, I think this, this deal right here is going to be a home run. And I'm very, very anxious to see where she goes because... To me, it doesn't matter if she's got 12 gilt center or 12 males. I think it's going to be a very profitable litter no matter what. Um, so dig deep here. Um, this is a short lister, in my opinion, and one of my personal favorites. Again, the blue sow we're looking at is 34-7. She's cataloged as lot nine. She's a Goosebumps, dirty, bred to trick daddy, do 6-7 uh, this summer.